welcome back to Entertaining Emma. My name is Emma. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and share. When we were in Florida, we went to Zoo Miami. We walked all around the zoo. It was so nice. And it gives you information about all the animals so you could learn about them. We fed giraffes. I fed Malcolm some lettuce. They had an area about Burmese pythons and other invasive species. Of course, a Burmese python can't get this big, but it can grow up to 18 feet long and weigh up to 200 pounds. Burmese pythons are native to Asia. That means that's where they're from. But they are an invasive species in Florida. Invasive species mean like an animal or a bug or a plant that was brought somewhere and caused problems to other things and the environment. Maybe it was a pet that someone released or something came on shipments from other places. They need something to eat. So the marsh rabbits have almost been wiped out and the white-tailed deer population has been declining in that region. That means there are as, as many as there used to be. We're going to make a couple of the Burmese python snake craft. Everything will be pinned to my Pinterest board. We're going to start with this spiral snake from First Palette. They have a template, or you could draw it yourself. So, so we're gonna color it. <laughs> Another invasive species in Florida is the giant African land snail. It eats succo off houses. That means the outside of the houses. And it spreads diseases. And it gets up to 8 inches long. Now let's add the eyes and then we're going to cut him out. I cut it out. Doesn't it look great? Let's move on to the next craft. Now we're going to be making these cute little snakes made out of f pipe cleaners. And the idea came from Frugal Fun for Boys. The, the things you need are these cute pipe cleaners, googly eyes, and beads. First, you take the pipe cleaner and you wrap it up. So, we did this. Now, I would leave this for last. Now, you take a bead. And you put it on. Another invasive species of Florida are the lionfish. They grow up to 12 to 15 inches long. They eat local reef fish. Florida has where you can catch it. And then if you catch them, you turn them in and you'll get a cash prize. Florida also has a thing called the Florida Python Challenge, where you have to hunt the snake. And if you win, you can get a big prize. Now I'm putting in the tongue. Now I'm going to glue on the eyes. Mm -hmm. 
Now my snake's all done. Let's move on to the last craft. This paper chain snake is inspired by Aunt Annie's crafts. The supplies that you need are construction paper, a little bit of red, because it's gonna be a ton, and a head and tail, I drew it, a big piece of construction paper for the chains, black marker and tacky glue. Next, I'm folding the piece of paper and make sure they're touching. Now we're gonna fold it again. Then we're gonna undo it. And it should have all these lines. Then we're gonna take our scissors that we have and cut it. Now we're gonna cut out his head and tail. Now we're gonna draw on the up. Florida actually has an app called I've Got One where you could tell them that you saw an invasive species. So first, you'll glue together one. Like this. Then you'll take another one and put it through. Put some glue at the end and put it together. There are two chains. gonna attach the head but first I'm gonna draw the eyes and put on the and put on the tongue And there you have it. Paper chains snakes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.